And finally, our third costume in the kind of like Squid Game Halloween costume series that I've kind of done this year. It is a VIP member. Hey, I'm Janelle, it's to DIY4, and uh, if you're not already subscribed, would love for you to subscribe. I do new videos every Wednesday, so most of the time it is kind of home decor related, but uh, I've been doing a lot of Halloween costumes the last couple of weeks. I love doing this every year on my channel, so there's plenty of them if you're looking for some other ideas as well. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, please do so there. You can get a little kind of inside look into the rest of my life because this is a very small portion of it. Uh, you can follow me there at Janelle Steeper. So uh, this week's costume, it was a little bit challenging to make, uh, but I think it turned out okay. And honestly, it's mostly just the mask because the rest of the costume, I mean, the characters on the show basically wore suits. Um, I believe there's a scene where a guy's wearing a robe. I would go with that because again, Comfort is key, and I think it could be fun, you know, like a cheetah print robe or like a zebra print robe, just kind of like feels super luxurious in your gold mask. So let's get into this DIY. So what I picked up was this cat mask from the dollar store. I'm recreating the cat VIP mask. They're all different animals. And then I have these little packages of puffy clay. Now I had to get these from the dollar store from like little kits that were meant to be making like their own individual animals. So that's why they're all separately packaged, different colors. And I had to buy about four packages to make this, but I've got my template out. I'm going to try and recreate that mask and it's not going to be too hard. We're going to add a little bit of different features, building this out, um, making the cheeks a little bit wider, adding fangs because the mask on the show has that but the main purpose of doing this is so that we can add texture to this mask which we need to do in order for it to make it look like the vip masks in the show so puff pastry or puff pastry puff clay puffy clay really easy to work with it is incredibly light it is going to dry it's not going to crack I really liked working with it and because it's so light this isn't going to be a heavy mask at all and it actually dries pretty quickly which can kind of be a friend kind of not because we need to add these details in here so I use this skewer to do that and this is how I added the texture to the whole mask it's kind of this crosshatch pattern if you look it up online and I was able to imprint it into this but you do need to work pretty quickly as I was getting towards the top pieces that I had worked on, I was having a hard time getting that crosshatch design to stay in there. So work quickly. And then once it's all dry, you got to spray paint it gold. Unfortunately, gold spray paint isn't going to give you the exact effect that the masks have on the show. But I think that this turned out pretty good. And again, they are all different animals. So this is just the cat one. I thought it was the easiest because I already had a cat based mask. This cost me maybe $5 to make. And all you have to do is pair it with a robe and you are comfy and dressed up for Halloween. <laughs> Let me know what you thought of the DIY. I'll be back next week with another one.